Well, here we are. Hi, I'm Esekwaba, also known as Gentleman. And yes, I know that my accent is not really good, and no, I'm not Russian. And yes, I'm the artist in the channel. Any other questions? No? Okay, by the way, I'm ill, so my voice is even shittier than what it normally is. Today, we'll be talking about all the wrenches that the engineer has in his arsenal. Uncle Dane already made videos about these weapons, but I wanted to put some good information together in one video. So, here we are. Let's get started. The first wrench that we have is the stock wrench. Well, not necessarily, but it's the most consistent and reliable wrench. It's the best option for keeping a nest up and the second best at keeping spies away. But the main reason that it's so good is the skins! Yeah, you heard me right. I actually like skins in Team Fortress 2. For me! Oh yeah, by the way, Australian wrench is pretty cool. It's better than the skins. <laughs> Let's get to our second wrench, the Sodium Hospitality. This wrench is the best against spice, but is it really that good? In my opinion, no. And all I want to say was already said in Uncle Dane's video about the wrench. I'll put a link below. But to summarize, the upside is not that good, because cloaking reduces the time of the bleeding effect by half. And if the spy is using the dead ringer, it's a straight downgrade from stock. And even the downside is really situational, it still affects at least my gameplay, so I'm not a huge fan of this range. Ah, good old Eureka effect. Well, not all that good at the same time. Because before Meteor Match it was horrible. It was the worst range, useless, etc. But then, with Meteor Match, it get buffed. And now it's a good option to pick out of all the ranges. Not necessarily for long term gameplay, but at situations like setup time, it's the best pick, and then you can change it to a better wrench. So, this wrench is a pretty good pick. And now we have the Jag. In my opinion, it's an aggressive or. Oh shit! I need to get this sentry up as fast as possible. Wrench. In one hand, you can play with level 2s and offense easily with Jag because it does not take so long to get a sentry up. It can be very effective, and you can put sentries that your enemies would not expect. And the other option you have is pretty self-explanatory. If you need to get a building fast, well, use the jack, because of its stats. The last wrench uh, and robo hand that we have in the list is... Gunslinger. And I'm going to be making another video about it. All another video. So. I'm not going to be talking about Gunslinger in this video, but check the description to watch the video that Uncle Bane made about Gunslinger. That's a great video. So yeah, this is the end of our video. See you all later. Nieces and nephews. Nah, just kidding. Bye.